this happens because you invest, and that investment sometimes is millions of dollars. Um, it happens because you build the infrastructure that the community that can, can then partake of. It happens because you have shop owners that help the enthusiasts do their thing and get out there um, on these trails and on these bike lanes so that the politicians and the leaders see them. Um, because it used to be so persuasive, persuasive to say, well, I never see anybody riding a bike. And now you can't say that. Now we get complaints because because our um, trail's too busy. There's too many people on our trail. There's too many people in the bike lanes. Well, good, then we need to make more bike lanes. We need to make more trails and spread all those folks out. Uh, and that's exactly what we're doing. And there's many of you who have been um, suggesting innovative ways that we partner with groups like PATH who have come to our community recently and um, are working with our staff and our other stakeholders to do things in a whole new way. And I am telling you, in a very short period of time, all of you all will be biking, maybe not every day, but regularly to work and to errands. It's going to become a part of our life that is just the future of American cities, and it certainly is the future of this city.